Hello there everybody and welcome to this tutorial video on how to use Jenkins. In this video we will be going over how to create a project and what a project can actually do. So to get started I'm going to assume that you already installed Jenkins. Um, if you haven't I refer you to Google, it's quite simple. Um, and once you've got Jenkins uh, you have to log in, you can see that I already did. And you can see that there is already a demo project here. Now, to make a new project in Jenkins, you simply click New Item. Now, for this item name, uh, you can fill something in, pretty much anything. Right now, we're going with Jenkins Test, and then my name. The uh, type that you will most commonly be using is the Freestyle Project. Freestyle Project is the central feature of Jenkins. Um, basically, what it means is that you can tell Jenkins to do anything you want. So after setting that up, click OK to go to the next screen. Now it will load for a bit and then it will get a... Uh, you will go to the next screen. So in description, for instance, well just enter the description of your project. For instance, Jenkins... Oh, I can type and talk at the same time. Jenkins test project. After doing so, go to through the rest of the parameters. Now in this case I will be showing you how to use Git, or well, how to set up Git. We won't actually be using it yet. But to set up Git, you will have to enter a Git repository. I am not sure if I still have it. Yeah, I do. I still got it under my uh, control C. Once you set that up, click this one. Well, click credentials and sometimes you'll have to add credentials then you can just um, yeah fill in your username your password and you can use that to log in onto git and those are to be your github credentials once that's done you can go scroll down and click build now in this case we're going to be using execute shell basically what the this does is it allows us to execute any arg um, command you can use in the Jenkins shell. For instance, git minus minus version. What this will do is it will tell us the version of GitHub that we are con currently using on the server. After you've done that, click save. It's a bit hidden below here. I don't know if I can get it to show. No, I can't. Click save. That's the blue button at button at top bottom there. Sorry, I'm messing up. Click back to dashboard and you'll see that right now there's a new Jenkins test with my name after it. Now what you have to do is click this button which if you hover over it will say, um, oh in this case it doesn't, yeah, schedule build. Once you click it, it says build schedule and then press F5. You will see that um, 5.7 seconds ago it ran a build with the duration of 1.1 second. Now click it and you'll see that here under console output it says a whole bunch of stuff. Some git stuff, some more git stuff and then actually what we entered. So and then it starts using git credentials which are the credentials that we gave it and then it starts checking out the revision which yeah we also entered and down here it actually executes our command which is git version and you can see that we're currently using git version 1.9.1 finished success now in Jenkins it can also happen that a build does not complete successfully for instance if we go to configure and we enter something stupid down here for example for show instead of version all oh, right now it does show click save again and now if we are to run it again, it says build schedule, refresh, you can also enable auto refresh, and you will see that the last build failed. Two, now you can go to console output, and it will say git version, unknown option, version, usage, git, and then it will explain the entire usage of git. That was it for this video, in the next video we will be going over to uh, over how to build something that's actually on Git. We'll be going over how to build a simple 
Hello World application. So that was it for right now, and I'll see you all next time.